Good morning, YouTubers. Coming at you today. It's rainy and nasty. Figured I'd make a short little video. I've had a couple of people request it, two or three. Uh, some of them's more or less told me, you know, they're wanting to buy a solar generator, but they've seen where you can buy too many panels or too less of panels. They're wanting to know, you know, how can you figure out what kind of panels and how many to get before they order them and then have to send some back or waste their money to make it match up. And uh, I just figured we'd go over that real quick. Uh, as you can see, my solar panels out here, uh, for those that don't know it, don't follow me. These are three sets each. You got one set here, two, three. Well, there's 700 watts on each is the way I've got them set up. I can take three solar generators and I can hook one up to the bottom one, let it charge. I can hook another one to the second, let it charge. Another one to the top, the third one, let it charge. And they'll bring in 700 watts each and charge them up with solar. Well, on one row, that is 700 watts. I've got seven 100 watt panels. So that's 100 watts there. Second one is 200 watts. Three, you get it. I use 100 watt panels and they're 12 volts each. And what you need to do is add up your volts or amps, whether you're gonna uh, set it up in parallel or series. I set mine up in series, which is volts. Parallel is amps. So we're just gonna talk about volts uh, on this video. But again, each panel you see there is 12 volts. 100 watt panels, 12 volts. So let's go in here and I'll explain it a little bit better. This is my setup here. My anchor, my oops, my blue eddies, and my ocatels. And this is how you're gonna figure out when you're looking to buy or order uh, this right here, this generator, just like these. That's your Blue Eddy AC200P. Great unit, love them. This one here is your Ocatel P201. Great unit. Cheaper for its price. This one's a little bit more expensive, but this one will go two, about two hours longer than this one, even though uh, they're both 2,000 watt units. You know, 2,000 watt hours, both of them. But you pay what you get for. You're paying for a little bit better inverter in this one than this one, but you are saving money. But again, back to the solar panels. Let's say you're looking to buy a 2000 watt unit. Well, you get online and what you need to do right here, this is where you do your charging. That's your AC hookup, your cord to the wall. This is your solar Anderson hookup. Well, as you can see right here, it can take in solar 500 watts max, all right? So my panels out there are 100 watts each. I've got seven of them. Well, this one will take 500 watts max. So in that order, I'd have to unhook two of my panels off of one row to make 500 watts. But the volts is what you really gotta worry about before anything. Like I told you, see here, this one here, the low wattage is 12. The high wattage that you can't go over is 48, 48 volts. Well, my panels out there, 700 watt strand, are uh, 84 volts total because you take 12 volts, which is each panel is 12 volt. Well, I got seven panels. 12 times seven is 84. Sorry about the shadow and shakiness. Well, 
I only can go up to 48 volts on this. So you could think 12 times four is 48. Well, I could use four panels then because I can't go over the 48 volts right there. So I'd have to unhook some of my panels and just leave four panels because four panels at 12 volts each is 48 volts. Okay, so I can't use my strand out there with 700 panels because I'm not going to go out there and unhook them every day, you know. So right here, this can only take four 100 watt panels, the Ocotel. Okay, the Blue Eddy here, it can take 35 watts or 35 volts to 150 volts on the high end. As long as I don't go over 150 volts, I'd show you, but it's just, see here. As you can see, if I quit shaking, PV, which is your solar panels, 35 volts to 150 volt max. So I can go up to 150 volts on this. Well, this thing can only take in 700 watts. So I bought seven 100 watt panels and put out there. Well, each panel again is 12 volt. 12 times seven is 84. So I'm within the range. I'm not going over the 150 volts, you know. And just to show you on this one, this one, to get the solar to even work, is you have to have the 35 volts. So, you know, you're going to have to have three panels just to get this solar here to kick on. You know, if I live in an apartment or something, I just want, you know, enough to charge this. Well, I'm going to have to get three 12-volt panels. You know, that's 36 volts. Well, I have to have 35 to get the solar on this to even kick on. So at the lowest, I have to have three 100 watt panels. At the you know most, I can have 700 watts, so I can have seven 100 watt panels at the most, and that's what I've done. So when you go looking for a generator and you're going to shop for one, get on the specs. Whether you're on Amazon, uh, uh, Walmart, wherever you know eBay, they will tell you the specs on the solar input voltage. Look at that and see what the max is. See what the, the low end is, but the max really. And that way, before you buy anything, then, j just like I said, on the Ocotel here, the, the high end, again, is 48 volts right there. Well, before I buy this, I'm gonna take 12, you know, times four, which is 48. I'm, I know now I can get four 100 watt panels. Well, I can go ahead and start looking for 100 watt panels that are 12 volt by four of them. That way I don't think, oh, I'm gonna buy 10 of them, really charge this sucker up fast. It won't accept 10 of them. It just won't do it. You might damage your unit or it might uh, blow the fuse right here. You know, that's why they tell you these specs. They don't want you frying the machine with over paneling it. So, you know, all you got to do, look at your high end voltage on whatever solar generator you like that you're looking at, write it down, and then go look at your panels, find you some panels that are, me and myself, I look at 12 volt panels, times that by whatever the number is on the machine, and you'll know how many panels you need to get. You know, it's just like this anchor down here, right there. Anchor 767, love it, great machine, but it's low voltage. I have to charge it on the same solar panels that this one does, you know. So, uh, and it's only rated at my panels at a 200 or a 420 watts. So it's it's slow charging, you know, compared to my Blue Eddies, because on these I can bring in 700 watts. And the oops there, I can do a slow charge 1,000 or fast charge 2,000, you know. But the oops, my Blue Eddies are on my panels out on my building I showed you, but then my anchor. And the Ocotels, I have to use on my solar, or my side ones there, my small solar panels. Because they just ain't, they can't accept the voltage that the Blue Eddies do. 
that's why I always recommend Blue Eddies, truthfully. They're fast charging. They can take up to 700 watts. If you get the AC uh, 200 Max, it takes in 900 watts, you know. So this is just what I wanted to explain to you. Uh, just look at your voltage on your panel, your input, you know, your solar. And if you're, like I said, looking at 100 watts panels, they're mo mostly they're 12 volt, 12 times whatever, how many panels you need to get to, to come to that total. You know, like I said, these will run off of my 700 watt after I just showed you, but these won't. I would fry these. I'd do some damage to them. So before you buy, you need to check that out and match everything because you don't want to buy something and can't use it or, you know, maybe can't send it back or the trouble of sending it back. Think before you buy, you know, whatever brand you're looking at, see the solar input voltage and then, you know, go from there. And uh, I will leave the descriptions to my solar panels out there uh, or on the description. Uh, they're great. Uh, but I've never had a problem out of any of them. Uh, they're high efficiency. They're the new power 9 BB cell, 100 watt monocrystalline, 12 volt compact, high efficiency panels. And compact means that they're the uh, uh, square type, you know, smaller in size. Let me show you again here. See, if you look, they're more square. You know, most uh, panels, they're a little bit longer, like this. But these are called the compact. Uh, you get the same efficiency out of them as a bigger one, or just smaller in size. And these right here run you, and they're a decent price. They run you approximately $75 a piece. And believe me, that's a, a good price for a high efficiency panel. You know, I got these off of Amazon. And I've not had a problem out of any of them. I think highly of them, or I wouldn't have bought so many. But, uh, yeah, if you got any questions or anything, just leave a comment. But I'll leave the description of the panels in the uh, description box. Uh, any questions, just yell out at me. Or if you got any info, put it down there. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll just catch you on the next one. God bless.